When I did get close enough, I realized that these were the American white pelicans. This is Alan Carl. Welcome to my YouTube channel, WorldRider.tv. It's a gorgeous February day here in North County, San Diego, in Southern California. Today I bring you to the Barquitos Lagoon. Hey, and while I'm thinking of it, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button right down below because I'm bringing great content from not only North America, but from all over the world. The Barquitos Lagoon. It's a big lagoon sandwiched between the cities of Encinitas to the south and Carlsbad to the north. It's a, uh, a estuary and wetland. In fact, it's one of the only remaining tidal wetlands in Southern California. The Barraquitos Lagoon is about 610 acres. It's two primary tributaries. Freshwater feeds into this uh, from the San Marcos Creek to the east and Encinitas Creek to the north. Throughout the year, about 200 different species of birds find Barquitos Lagoon. Some, of course, make it their home year-round. Others stop here on their way south to Mexico, Central America, even South America. They stop here to maybe take a swim, bathe and bask in the beauty of that uh, California sunshine, or maybe to dine on some local seafood here in the lagoon. On a day like this, and many days, people also come here to discover the Barquitos Lagoon. They may be pushing their baby strollers, walking their dogs, jogging, maybe to just also relax, taking a serene moment, watching the birds. And while you do get some nice views of the lagoon, of the marshlands, the wildlife, the lagoon itself, and the birds by foot, well, I feel the real way to discover and experience the Barraquitos Lagoon is how the birds who fly here do. And that's for the bird's eye view and from above. So I decided to take out my drone today and actually get a sense of the beauty and the expanse of this lovely estuary and tidal wetland. And after I went airborne, went east, west, up and down, I noticed something very distinct, a little half circle or semi-circle of white birds grouped together in the middle of the lagoon. And I thought to myself, that's odd, I've never seen that before. As I flew my drone a bit closer to this circle of white birds, I tried to be careful not to disturb them with the noise of the propellers. Even though the glare of the setting sun on my screen made it a bit difficult to read, when I did get close enough, I realized that these were the American white pelicans. This is the first time I've ever seen an American white pelican here at Barraquitos Lagoon, or actually anywhere in Southern California. Of course, the white pelicans spend most of their time during the year breeding in the interior of the North American continent, but during the winters they do make their way to the coasts and then maybe fly south. What's most common as you walk on the beach or cruise the coast of California is many sightings of flocks of California brown pelicans. And I love to get mesmerized watching them diving into the water and scooping up fish and then nose diving, dive bombing like a, a Japanese kamikaze in World War II. They just go head first deep into the water and then fly right out of it, usually with a nice piece of fish in their mouth. That's right, the California brown pelican is a diver. But the white pelican, the American white pelican, doesn't dive, nose dive, for fish. The American white pelican takes a little bit more peaceful search for food. They were doing something that I thought I'd normally see at a, an Olympic event, akin to synchronized swimming, except they weren't swimming. They were actually feeding or herding fish. They herd fish by creating this circle and then dipping their heads in unison, in synchronicity, into the water coming back up with a prize of whatever the small school of fish that they're feeding on. Well, I hope you enjoy this bird's eye view of the Barraquitos Lagoon here in North San Diego County and those amazing and rare American white pelicans doing their magical cooperative feeding exercise just for you.
If you haven't subscribed to already, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell for some notifications. We got great content, not only from local North American locations, but from all over the world, usually on a motorcycle. Hey, until the next time, stay curious and never stop exploring. See you on the next one.